orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen where the Vales kept you. People like them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved, and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong! Your time's run out! <laughs> the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He's got me in here! Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one. Security systems offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went.
that's the plan. Pleasure to see your work in person. Jesus. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> Vicky, come out and surrender. <laughs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. I'm not gonna bring you someone just so you can murder him. <laughs> well then, the butler's death is on you. You're doing so much for one old man. Vicky. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? I won't argue. Falcone and Hill got what they deserved. <laughs> That's quite the turnabout, Batman. I don't think I believe you. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Spock? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, blaming other men. Curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. 
If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. You... you... you came... you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Concern I don't have for you. Huh. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. You're only a piece in the bigger game, but... You're the only piece I have left. <laughs> It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge.
You belong in this darkness, Pepper. You'll be buried with you and the puppet. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it. It's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. Alfred, here, L let me help. No, no, don't. With... Everything that's been going on, I, I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You've saved my life. I've no doubt Miss Vale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time to adjust, and I'm afraid it may interfere with my butler duties. Well, maybe you should take some time off. You certainly deserve it. It's been so long, I don't even know what time off would look like. Yeah, think about it. A beach, palm trees, a sky that isn't the color of sweatpants. <laughs> well, perhaps that wouldn't be so bad. Though I am having a hard time picturing you in shorts. Shorts? Never. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. In the Silver's not going to polish itself, is it? <laughs> we will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Likely not, but you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. 
Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. I'm just doing my job, nothing more. You're a better man than you'll admit. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. We're currently awaiting newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. That doesn't sound right. Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? I wanted to show Gotham that I stand with its new commissioner. Uh, acting commissioner. But all the same, I appreciate it. City's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them. I'll work alongside you and the GCPD to protect Gotham. The criminals of this city will stand no chance against us. <laughs> now that they won't. You know, I always wanted this. To be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. I should probably be used to that by now. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He'll work alongside the GCPD to lift Gotham out of these dark times. But I'm not only asking Batman and my officers to be heroes. I'm asking all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. Get 
that bastard to lock up. Just minutes ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. <laughs>